The congresswoman, the president hasn't just attacked the reasoning behind the decision, the travel ban decision. He's questioned the legitimacy of the judge himself, uh, referring to him as a so-called judge in a tweet over the weekend. Uh, and as you know, the president made a similar attack on a federal judge last year when he questioned the legitimacy of Judge Curiel, uh, who was born in Indiana because of his Mexican heritage. He was the judge involved in the Trump University case. Are you worried that the president's attacks uh, on these federal judges represent a pattern of disregard for the judicial system. I think that's exactly what it is, but it's even broader than that. I mean, this is, well, if you want to talk about the irony of all ironies, here is a man who attacked a civil rights icon who said that questioned his legitimacy uh, after this election. And then he turns around and because he doesn't like a court's decision, he calls the judge a so-called judge. I mean, it's juvenile. It's actually an insult to actual juveniles to say that it's juvenile. I mean, it, it, I don't even know what category to put this in. Um, it's a disturbing trend that we see from this president, whether it's on Twitter. And, and you know what? I think it's a great way to communicate with people. I'm not saying he shouldn't tweet if he wants to. But there's a certain amount of decorum that we expect from our president. He represents not just himself and his administration, but every single American. And I'm hoping that he recognizes that eventually and stops with the name calling and the attacking every time someone says if it's a poll he doesn't like if it's a comment that he doesn't like if it's a court decision he doesn't like that's part of life right you have to accept the good with the bad and you have to roll with the punches and so my hope is that as he gets longer in his tenure uh, he sees that there is a, a level of decorum that the president should assume and hopefully he will